So there's been quite a bit of noise around April 8th, uh, 2024, tomorrow, and what it may mean as it relates to biblical prophecy, as well as some of the things, world events, geopolitical events. And as believers and followers of Jesus Christ, I think there's an opportunity for us to do what we do best, which is to deepen our relationship with the Lord and then also be salt and light to the world. So how about we just offer a prayer together in unity for all of those who may have angst, fear, or even just be confused about all of the things that are happening and what it may mean for us now and in the future, and most importantly, for eternity. Let us pray. Father, um, as we continue to navigate uncertain times, facing the shadows of the, the shadows and the fear cast by approach, the approaching eclipse, by the rumblings of earthquakes, the mysteries of CERN, the ominous presence of the devil comet, as a uh, comet as reported by NASA, and even the unusual emergence of cicada, Lord, and also, Lord, there's echoes of war all of, reverberating all around the world. We turn to you, God, in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we put our trust in you, understanding that you are our rock and our refuge. Your word reminds us in Isaiah 41.10, Father, we're to fear not. And Lord, we know that you're with us. You said, fear not, I'm with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Lord God, we know, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your word is true. You said you will uphold us with your righteous right hand. And Father, may this truth anchor our souls amidst the storms of life, no matter what comes. And Lord, we declare your sovereignty over the heavens and the earth. So whether it's an eclipse, whether it's what's going on with CERN or the other aspects I mentioned earlier, Lord God, we put it all in your hands and we understand that you are in control in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that not a sparrow falls from the sky apart from your will, according to Matthew 10, 29. You're in control. Thank you, Jesus and nothing escapes you. In the face of uncertainty, Lord, we choose faith over fear. We know that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind, according to 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Lord, may your perfect love cast out all fear from our hearts. 1 John 4, 18. All these scriptures, Lord, bring them to our remembrance. Let the Holy Spirit, Lord, it, um, re be revived and, and bring those things to our remembrance that we'll meditate on your word. And if fear tries to creep in, Lord, help us to speak your word and to stand on your word and to fast and to pray, to do those things that we know God brings us closer to you in Jesus name. We embrace this moment as a clarion call for us to draw closer to you, to deepen our relationship with you, and to share the gospel, the good news. Thank you, Lord. Your plan of redemption and salvation with boldness and compassion. And Lord God, we open ourselves up to love all without exception as you love us in Jesus' name. And it's in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray. And we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless.